How can you add additional features to an existing SQL Server installation? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So you may have installed SQL Server a while ago and want to add additional features. For example, maybe you want to add SQL Server analysis services. Well, to do this, simply go into your Start menu, click on All Apps, and scroll down to Microsoft SQL Server and the relevant version. So if I expand this version, you can see that there is an installation center. So if I click on this, it will give me the SQL Server installation center. I then need to go to installation and new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. And then it asks you, where the SQL Server installation media is. Now, you will need to find it if you have previously downloaded it. If you haven't still got it, then you should Google download SQL Server and that can take you to the SQL Server downloads page. So I have found my installation media. It is on my C drive, SQL Server, 2022 and it's in developer underscore ENU. Now I generally don't go through the SQL Server installation center because if I'm doing this, if I'm trying to find where my installation media is, then I might as well find it for myself and just double click on setup.exe. So here I am in the SQL Server 2022 setup, regardless of whether you came through the SQL Server Installation Center or double clicked on Setup. So I don't want to use Microsoft Update to check for updates, though you can do if you want. I'll click on Next. It will just look at all of the rules, make sure that computer passes. And here is where you can choose to add features to an existing instance rather than perform a new installation. Of course, you will previously have had to install SQL Server if you want to add features to an existing instance. So if I click on this radio button next to add features and I can select which instance, I may have more than one. So I'll click next and then I'm bypassing the Azure extension for SQL Server unless I want to install it. So I will uncheck that, click next, and then I can select the features that I want to install. For example, maybe I want to install analysis services, integration services, or data quality client. Whatever you choose, you may find there are additional items on the left-hand side that you've got to go through. If you are using SQL Server Developer and this is your own machine, then when it says who should be the administrator for SSAS, for instance, you should add yourself unless you've got a reason to do otherwise. So I click next, it will go through all of the remaining features and options that I've got to select, and then you can install. So this is how you can add additional features to an existing installation. You open up the SQL Server Installation Center, go to Installation, and click on New SQL Server Standalone Installation, or add features to an existing installation, or you go to your setup.exe and double click on that. Well, I hope that you found this video to be useful. If you would like any help on using SSAS, SSRS, SSIS, or SQL Server, then please go to our website, idodata.com, where you will find courses looking at TSQL, database administration, and more. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and why not subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. If you need assistance in installing SQL Server, then you'll see a video on the end screen all about it. Please click on it. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.